What's up my troops, Pixelbits here. Welcome to a new top 10 video. Tonight is a Halloween special. A list I've been planning to do a year before this. I wanted to make a video listing Call of Duty Zombies maps from what I think the worst ones are going to the best ones. The reason this took a while for me to do is because I don't have a capture card to record the gameplay of the map. So what I decided to do was gather clips of them using the share feature on the PS4. This means the maps seen in this video are all on PS4. With all that out of the way, let's get this video started. Number 10. Shangri-La. Starting this list with what may be the most frustrating map for any player, new or hardcore. High rounds on this map get ridiculous because of the irritating boss zombies. And playing with a full team requires everyone to activate Pack-a-Punch. But other than that, it does still feature an interesting wonder weapon, that being the baby gun, which is what it's more commonly called, as opposed to its in-game name, 3179JGB215. <laughs> yeah. It can also be pretty fun to go through the waterways, but that's about all I can say about this map. It's the worst solely for how annoying it can be trying to get to really high rounds. On to the next entry. Number 9. Moon. Well, there's a lot going on in this map. It's in freaking outer space. This is low on this list for a few reasons. The most annoying thing in this map is there being two perks on earth, and one is the Juggernaut perk, essential to survive. If it doesn't spawn at the beginning of the game and instead it's speed cola, you're gonna have to wait to go back to earth after transporting to the moon. Also good luck getting any of the good weapons. There's quite a few doors you have to open to turn on the power and also other perks you may need as well as the mystery box. There is a hacker device you can find to use in order to unlock things for free, but it takes incredibly long to successfully hack anything. All these things, combined with stuff like the excavators, can cause some inconveniences trying to do high rounds. The best place to stay is easily the biodome, as it's really big, and just be careful on the bounce pads. But there's definitely some really good wonder weapons and the uh, special grenades. That should be everything I need to go over with this map. Let's move on. Number 8. Nocturne Untoten. At number 8, it's the very beginning of zombies. This is what started it all in the game Call of Duty World at War. Originally, it featured no perks, but but in remastered versions like this one included in Zombies Chronicles, it has a random perk machine as well as gobblegum machines. Most importantly, the mystery box stays in one place, and it's the introduction of the Raygun Wonder Weapon. I recommend keeping either the door or the upstairs staircase closed off. That way, the zombies don't come from both directions. But yeah, that's all you need to know other than that. It's a simple experience, so these things make it a beginner friendly map to go high rounds and is also fun for any other skilled player. Everything just goes up from this map. Number 7 D Machine Or Die Machine, however you want to pronounce it. This is not going to be in the list when I originally planned it a year ago. I wanted to make this before Cold War came out, but now it seems that the zombies content for it have concluded pretty recently. So now I pick it as number 7. This is a pretty nicely designed map that just works well with the new system that Cold War has to offer. It is a very fun time to go to insanely high rounds. The pack-a-punch upgrades just make you feel more powerful. It also has a pretty cool throwback with a part of the Nocturne Totem map pretty much just sitting there to fall apart. The best place for surviving in this map is right outside the Nocturne Totem building where this part players can go up to lure the zombies, the wing of an airplane. The new armor and crafting mechanics is also an interesting addition. But yeah, that's the only Cold War map on this list. That should be enough for it though. Number 6. Verrucked. Moving to another World at War map, 
this one is definitely a pretty creepy one, which is why it's above Die Machine. This just has to be some of the most unsettling vibes you can get in a map. It's an insane asylum that just feels like the right place to become insane yourself. This map also separates players. Two players in one room while other players are in the next room. It makes it so the power has to be turned on or open all the doors to get back to each other. Though it's definitely not recommended to open every door in the map, as this map gets crazy. I'm not talking about the crazy place. This map, like Knock, has absolutely no break rounds, so every round the zombies ramp up, so it's challenging for players starting out. But with the new perks added into Black Ops 3 and the Gobble Gums, it makes it more manageable to survive the combined areas. Definitely requires you to act fast and activate traps to get really far, and that's as far as I go, concluding this entry. Number 5 Kino der Toten Let's watch a movie. This map was the first included in a rather cinematic entry in the Call of Duty series. The first Black Ops game is very memorable, and this map is definitely more favored compared to the other map featuring a certain US president. It's also probably the most iconic starting area everyone recognizes. This is indeed an enjoyable place to explore, with some places to maneuver and activate traps. Any place could work to stay put in. It just helped to make zombies what everyone knows it as today. The Thunder Gun was introduced here, and it's arguably the best wonder weapon that carries through the high rounds greatly. There's just one minor annoyance, and that's the gas zombies that explode once killed. But yeah, this map is definitely very beloved, and that's why I put it as number 5. It is essentially everything that makes zombies such a fun experience. Number 4 Ascension There may have been a space map, but this map is just before the step in going to the stars. This map is where you launch your rocket off. But before you can do that, you must find three flying landers across the map and take them back to the spawn area. After you turn on the power, you will also notice what has taken the place of the hellhounds. There are monkeys that come straight from the sky, implying they are also space explorers. After they lay on down, they go after any of the perk machines they feel like. You got to kill them before they get rid of the perks the players have got. Otherwise, you will have to buy the perks again after you take care of the monkeys. And that's really the big thing that gets annoying about this map. A really cool thing about this map is the replacement to the monkey bombs. A black hole device that sucks zombies into it called the Gersh device. Just be careful, as if you jump into it yourself, you'll warp into a random part of the map. But this is still high on the list for how it just boosted the experience once more out the atmosphere. Number 3 The Giant, also known as Therese. Here is a map that's familiar. That's because it's the last map from World at War. But The Giant is a complete remake featuring a new storyline. It is the introduction to the Pack-a-Punch, and to unlock it, you just link three different teleporters that are found through the map. After that, it's up to the players to survive the hordes of zombies coming. All the perks are present, except for the one from Black Ops 3 that helps out a lot in the maps, known as Widow's Wine. The classic wonder weapon, Wonder Waff, returns in this map. It's still good to see how far you can go, maybe by camping in a long catwalk. The teleporters are also a way to make a quick escape if things are getting out of hand, and a way to help out players as well. This is truly what makes the zombies mode everything players enjoy, and this is a pretty cheap DLC on top of that. We're very much getting to the real giant maps on this list. Number 2 Origins Let's see a different beginning. The origins to everything. A map that pits you in the battlefield during World War One. This map is pretty huge, and definitely has a lot going on. So it takes skill to get anywhere close to anything like Pack-a-Punch. But that's not quite the main objective of this map. 
you have to find three parts of the elemental staffs, each one being a different element. Ice staff parts are found during snowstorms and dig spots. Lightning staff parts are found by riding a tank. Those can be done before round 8. And on round 8, an armored zombie appears that is pretty tough to defeat. But he drops a part for the fire staff. Then the wind staff parts are inside the giant robots that are seen walking at times. How do you get inside them? Shoot the foot that has a yellow light on it. When you're inside the robots, you can get the part and escape falling back to the ground. After you have all staffs, you can also upgrade them by doing puzzles in a place that contain the stones for them. These puzzles can be quite complicated and can take quite a lot of time. That's why this is number two, along with the difficulty it provides. But it's packed with things to do and even has the option to end the game after completion of the storyline easter egg. If you ever do it, then you will get to know just who the little girl is that you are helping out the whole time in the map. This really put everything into place for all to come after. I wanted to go over a few honorable mentions that couldn't make it into the list. The first one is 9. The reason why it wasn't in is because I just couldn't get gameplay of it in time. I would have had to download it again because I have so much stuff on my PS4. Next there's Mob of the Dead. The reason why it wasn't in is just because I can't record for Black Ops 1 or 2 because yeah, that would require a capture card. And last one is Buried. And it's the same reason as Mob of the Dead, I just couldn't get any footage of it. And now, on to my number one pick of what I think is the best zombies map of all time. Shadows of Evil. Every map you've just seen has been the Zombies Chronicles from Black Ops 3. Except for the Giant and Die Machine. But for the number one pick of best zombies map, to me, is the starting map Shadows of Evil. I'm going to be honest, I don't think I would even be making this video if it weren't for this map. This is what truly made me appreciate Zombies so much, at least regarding what new, unique concepts it has to offer. In this one, you're in Morgue City, with a new cast of characters. My favorites of which are Jack Vincent and Nero, who was voiced by Jeff Goldblum. All the characters have been cursed and obtained this ability not seen in any other map. It's the ability to turn into a beast with tentacles. With that, you zap on the perk machines and grapple to high areas. The objective is to find four items to use for rituals, the items being personal objects associated with the characters. After completing each of the rituals, the final one in the rift area will unlock Pack-a-Punch. There's more to do alongside that. You can get fuses that are necessary to call a robot helper, and a rocket shield, which is really a better version of the shield from Origins. You can eventually get a sword by opening a door containing eggs that the characters have to fill up. There's really so much depth to this map, this is the more important things. The wonder weapon has to be built as well. It's definitely an interesting one that is referred to as the Apothecan Servant and functions similar to the Gersh device, shooting black holes. Every single one of these things are very useful for making it through high rounds. I can't praise it enough, but I really hope you enjoyed me talking about these maps and the entire list. Well, this has been my list of top 10 Call of Duty Zombies maps from worst to best. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you click subscribe if you're not subscribed and all that. Hope you guys will have a thrilling Halloween. That is all, and I will see you in more Pick Plays Roblox videos. Pixelbits out.